Hey guys, Roman and Reaper here. Just back with a quick little TV review. So I just got done watching the brand new series of Cobra Kai season five. Now obviously it was only back at the end of 2021, the New Year's Eve, that season four dropped. So it it so yeah, the fact that we've already got a season this quickly, it's not even been a year, like it does feel strange not having a new season of the show to see in the new year, but whatever. The fact it came early was still very, very exciting. Um, you know, all for it, you know. Just give it a little quality season of the show. Now, you obviously know my history with this show by now. I absolutely love it. It's probably one of the best things on TV at the moment. Just continues to go from strength to strength each season. And to be honest... Season 5 is no different. This is another top season. Like just delivering all the things we want. Exciting, adrenaline pumping action scenes. Montages that just really get you pumped up. Plenty of humour. A bit of heart and emotional drama thrown in. Obviously, archive footage and plenty of nostalgia for the original. Karate Kid film handled in an extremely respectful and logical manner. And while well, this this season, yeah, it's consistently great all the way through. I, don't get me wrong; it picks up pretty much where season four left off. Miguel's left for Mexico, and Terry Silver has. Taking over Cobra Kai after winning the All Valley. And um, Miyagi Do and Eagle Fan have shot. But Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence aren't giving up. And they team up with Chosen to bring something to light, which could potentially bring down Terry Silver. Obviously, you know, this is. Obviously, plotline like that, you know. It's something you'd see in like a more serious like action thriller espionage film sort of thing. But goddamn Cobra the way Cobra Kai handles it is obviously very different and obviously, you know more grounded but also like in key with like its modern roots. And so so much fun to watch, like I have to emphasize here that this season, when it is funny, it is very, very funny. It, episode 3, in particular, brings us some proper comedic highlights. It, and even throughout the season, the comic standout of the show is chosen. I, I really, really enjoyed what they did with him this season. You know, he is just... Just hilarious moment after hilarious moment. You know, he's a bit of a cinnamon rogue, really. I also give him a bit of a character development towards the end of the season underneath all that. But the finale just pays it all off wonderfully. And, you know, just reminding us that, you know, he is just a just huge badass. That, and he gets a insane fight scene in the finale that just left me breathless. <laughs> Speaking of leaving me breathless, <laughs> that's an ironic thing this season I won't spoil, but <laughs> yeah, the fight scenes this season are great as usual. You know, that, that fast and punchy karate choreography just it's just such a thrill to watch. It's so, f like, it's obviously not like too like graphic or anything, but it feels visceral and real, and it helps that yes, the camera does they utilize like cuts, like, but it's never like you know to hide the the contact and violence that's going on, and never resorts to just Olivia Megaton shaky cam. <laughs> 
<laughs> and <laughs> yeah, the episode five in particular features two firecracker fight scenes. The standout of which being one between Miguel and Robbie. You know, with, with all that history that they have over the course of these five seasons, it is so, so satisfying to watch. And, of course, speaking of Miguel and Robbie, I really liked how they handled their character development this season. I won't spoil it, but you probably already know what's going to happen, and it's just so, so satisfying to watch. In fact, you know what? But you know what, I'll get into it for a bit, uh, just get to the time code and on the screen if you don't want to know. So after Miguel and Robbie have their big epic fight scene, they make up, of course, you know. You know, this was a, a real like, therapeutic moment for them. And then they... And then we learn that not only are they friends, but they're gonna become stepbrothers as well. And, you know, throughout the second half of this season, all that just kept ringing through my mind was, you know, yes, that line from Step Brothers. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep! And, you know, seeing them getting along is just so wholesome. Why, why didn't it happen sooner? Of course, it's not just the... Miyagi Do, Eagle Fang side, I guess, development. Obviously, the Cobra Kai side as well. I really liked, in particular, how they handled Tori and Kenny this season. I really liked their arcs. Again, without getting into anything. But, god damn. Terry Silver. Whew. This man takes fighting dirty, and he makes that seem nice and innocent in comparison. The lines he crosses this season, he well and truly crosses the Rubicon on multiple occasions, and is so, so, like, exciting to watch, because he is just so, like, entertainingly like, unhinged and unlikable. He is an absolute menace, and... Yeah, it is just a delight. And I also really liked the how they handled Crease in prison. That was super fun as well. And the way the finale ties all of these plot threads together is just so, so satisfying to watch and is just a whole rush of emotions, much like the boys finale it ties everything together but also leaving it open just enough for the next season sprinkling a few little breadcrumbs of course it's not like completely perfect or anything i feel like some like subplots kind of feel like i don't know i don't know if this is on me but i was maybe kind of expecting more from them like in particular at the start of the season the whole thing with Miguel's dad, it's sort of wrapped up and forgotten about within the first two episodes, and I was kind of expecting more from the return of Mike Barnes. Don't get me wrong, I really liked his character in this season, and, and the fight scene he has in episode three is super funny, and I really like how they develop this character towards the end of the season with the events of the previous episodes, but it feels like they just sort of, I don't know, it feels like he was just sort of forgotten about throughout the whole, like, middle stretch of the season, but like, but for what I did with him and the screen time he had, he, he was decent, right? and I did like him, and potentially I'd like to see more of them in the next season. Now you could argue that the 
first half of the show is maybe like kind of slow in comparison to just how like how much it just really kicks into gear in the second but that's not to say it's like slow and boring with nothing happening there's plenty going on and it's it's always satisfying it's always fun to watch and with each cliffhanger each episode ends on it's just it, it leaves you so pumped for what happens next like it's so in that regard it's also it's probably one of the easiest shows to binge on tv right now but it's also one that you really want to sustain that excitement for because it's yeah overall cobra kai season five i'm going to give a nine out of ten i'm a brilliant season of this show and i am really really looking forward to seeing where this goes next in fact i know in the past the showrunners have spoken about how they have a six season plan in mind so maybe given the note that they kind of end the season on maybe season six will wrap the whole thing up in an incredibly satisfying manner right? maybe this will do for the karate kid universe what better call Saul did for breaking bad where you just sort of so it continually build and build and build and just pays off wonderfully. Fingers crossed though. And yeah, those are my thoughts on season five of Cobra Kai. Let me know down in the comments. Have you seen it? What do you think of it? Are you excited to see where the show goes next? Uh what's your favourite season of the show? And what karate kid universe characters do you want to see return next season? Don't forget to the thumbs up button if you enjoyed. Don't forget to the subscribe button if you're new. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload.